you doing? I'm Steve with InYourChest.com. That's I-N-Y-A-C-H-E-S-T. -E, and that's Horace with InYourChest.com. Uh, we have a question that was submitted yesterday. I'm reviewing it today. Uh, I'm trying to explain it the best I can. It's a young lady that has a female group of friends, and one of her friends uh, came out about her sexuality, that she was bisexual. And I guess, apparently, she went from being bisexual to just recently dating only women in the last few relationships. Um, actually, they went to you know several different places and so forth. The main one, um, to the strip club, and she like would, I guess, try to convince her friend to come join her. You know, come strip naked, and, and I guess for her friend to see her dance in front of her, which she's uncomfortable with. And another thing too, she's been was used to coming out of the shower and dressing in front of her friend naked and so forth. But once she got the news. Her whole persona changed around her bisexual friend, and now she was one of the questions she was asking us: if do she detect the change in her behavior, discovering her new sexuality? And the other thing, the other question was too: how should she handle and address the situation with uh, letting her know that she's not going to convert over and not to really, you know, play with her or discuss things with her pertaining to that her, her choices of, 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 of women. She got a rough road because they, they apparently been friends for probably three, four years, two, three years, I'd say. Um, people really, I'm not going to judge, but people that has like a bisexual mentality, they really don't put your best interests at heart when it comes to them trying to not convert you or convert you, I feel. Because it's really sensitive, especially when they know that you that especially when they know that you they, they that you know that they're bisexual, it's like it's a big challenge for them. To try to convert you know, to try to convert you. And even if you step them like, hey girl, stop playing, you know, it's like they take it as a it's still a challenge. Just brush off. Yeah, like a brush off, ah, whatever, you know. So she been coming out undressing and making in front of you for probably years or months or whatever. You know? That's just to see how you react anyway. Right, right. You know what I mean? Well, actually, it's the opposite. You know, she stopped doing that in front of the bisexual. Oh, okay. So she stopped doing that. Yeah. So she, the best thing is basically is that if she don't want to get, she, if she don't want to get fucked, she better, <laughs> she better, she better just like really just understand that if you're gonna be in a friendship with this girl, you got there's a lot of things that's gonna change. You're gonna be poked often. I told. I, I, I yeah. Told to them. Yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna like literally get screwed. You know, if you really don't like. If you if you really want to still be friends with her, because it's a it's a whole other lifestyle. When you say you screw her, like you, you mean like no, that's not sex. The, 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 the relationship one. Yeah, it's gonna get the relationship. The, the friends friend gonna, friend gonna be screwed because it's a whole other lifestyle that now you gotta adjust to this now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because she's basically gonna try to convert you. That's a whole thing now to yeah. try to convert you. To see, understand her way, her vision, her, 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 her lifestyle. Her ride exactly. Is, yeah. It's how far exactly. You know. So and if that's not you, you gotta like stop being her friend. Period. That's. Can't, it's, I mean, tough, it's, it's tough. tough. It's years, tough. With years backing them, though. It's just, tough, dog. It's yeah. tough. Because the thing about it, if she really your friend, I want to see that happen one time when it actually work. You know, if she really your friend, she will really stop doing the things she do, like calling you, hey, girl, come down to the strip club and see you. I, you know? I, I, I think, besides addressing it, I think you should maybe distance the amount of time spent together. You don't have to cut off the relationship. Just distance the amount of time you hang with her, and that will send the message. If, if your verbal, if your verbal rebellion it hasn't gotten through to her, you know. So let's start with the distance, because she's gonna pick up on the distance thing and put two and two together herself. The bisexual, she's gonna be like, "Well, damn, I know she's distancing it because of my behavior." So guess what? When I'm around her, I will, you know, push my luck with her for her to. Distance me again to even to the point where we, I don't hear from her ever. I, I just, I, the distance thing is gonna be hard on you too. Yeah, you know but, I mean? but it's better than breaking, cutting off. Of, uh, you don't know how, how long they've been friends, you know. And that's yeah. like that's like uh, one of our boys that we friend, Damien. That's like Damien telling us that you know. He, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got, I, 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 so you, you gotta make a choice. Yeah. I can't, I can't just distance myself because then I feel bad that I'm hurting my friends. So like, that's how Damien, I feel. We're not gonna talk to you no more, man. It's either or, though. You can't just like keep the distance away, cause then that hurts the person, and then it hurts you, cause like that's no, my friend. I mean, what is the break? The breaking the friendship is got to be much worse, especially because of their lifestyle that you're not supporting. But the thing about it, though, when you when you when you make that choice, boom, right then, you can either move on, cause you and, and you can't come back. Yeah, yeah. But, no, but but when you keep that distance, it's still connected, right? There. But 
I said, but long as they're crossing the line. Yeah, but it's still, but it's still there's a connection still. Cause y'all yeah. still keep in contact from far away. But, but it's still. But the connection at the problem is just, just try to you know get this person to understand that. Listen, I'm not converting over. I'm not into that. Don't you know pressure me with that. Don't try to bait me with testing it out. If the other person you understand through a distance, then it's worth the shot. And what do you say, Thunder? Yeah. I understand where you're coming from, Stephen, with the whole thing, and I, I do feel that the first thing that a person should do is just address the situation but, and just lay it out for the person, hey, this is what I'm not comfortable with, so on and so forth, you know, and you can either, <clears throat> I would love to maintain a friendship with you, but I hope that you can respect um, my views, you know what I'm saying, it's not that I'm bashing your, your lifestyle or anything, yeah. and at that point, if her friend, her bisexual friend can't understand that, then you can squash a friendship, because okay, it doesn't make right, sense to do right. the whole distance yeah. thing. You're right, you're right, you know yeah, you're, you're giving them, the, you put a ball in their court. Yeah, because it's almost yeah, like yeah. saying, I don't really like you, but I'm not going to break up with you yet. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and so you're yeah. just leading the person on. Rather, it's either you give them, you let them know what's up, you know what I'm saying? And since you're giving them ultimatum, you're either going to respect me as a person and not, you know, mm. try and push your lifestyle on me or we just can't be friends. Okay, I, I like that. What would we, what would we do if one of our boys told us that? I just thought about that. Uh, one of our boys close boys told us that, man. That's really tough, man. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't hang, I can't hang with him in like certain spots unless it's like shit that we used to do, but I can't. Yeah, oh man, ooh. Even, ooh, it's tough when you're in the situation then. Um, yeah. Man. Would you, okay, oh, playing like basketball, really, would you be still continue playing basketball with them? Oh, yeah, man. yeah, but the thing about it, I'm, uh, oh man. The, it, the best thing you was, you probably can't, you probably can't, we probably couldn't handle him spotting us while uh, we're working out. Yeah. Or, you know, uh, what what other stuff, man. Um, I don't know, man. You know, touches on the back every time you touch on the back. Yeah. Is that a regular? Yeah, like that. yeah is that a regular? Like, yeah. see, I, I just go to the horse. But once you're the person by session, it's almost like. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a whole other feeling, I guess. Man. But how is it a whole other feeling if they always. So are you going to start thinking that? I know that, now. No, okay, now that you know, so are you going to assume that from the time that you, before you knew that they were always all trying to come time, at you? Exactly. Yeah, that's lingers in your head, like, oh, man. And he was testing me all the time to yeah. see that, though. Exactly, that lingers in your head. You know, naturally, that lingers in your head like, fuck. All this time we're talking about chicks, this man, we didn't even like chicks. Fuck. But he kept on the conversation with you all, yeah, just to appease, you know what I'm saying, your lifestyle. Yeah, you know? yeah, so why yeah, not be respectful of him? But why not be respectful of him? You know what I'm saying? Like, no, if, I, no, I think we can still respect him. He's, but, he's just worried about, you know, how... But other, like, other people that know that he's funny, I was, you know, oh, they're thinking that I'm gay too. Be, yeah. You know, yeah. association, like, oh. And it, it'll hurt you because, that's your, as I said, that's your best friend. It'll hurt you, but it's like, man, it's, it, like I said, it's a big exception. Like, yeah. man, can I do this? You know, because you got to really put yourself, like, on the spot now. Like, man, can I do this? Can I worry about what people think? And, you know? And, and it's, it's, it sounds kind of selfish and shallow that why we worry about what people think. But I just remember a really innocent, simple scenario the day when we went to Las Olas, okay? And um, it was on a Friday night to go to this club called The Living Room, okay? I'm getting ready to go up there, come to find out it's um, broke arm night, okay? So we're up there, we have five guys up there together, and just the fact that we all know we're straight, yeah. they just all play with our mind that, oh my oh, God, yeah, they're going to think we're all uh, home. Because we didn't know it was uh, broke arm night, while well, everybody's downstairs in the, in the hetero club. Yeah. So we upstairs in the, in the skyscraper, and you can see us, and... So just yeah. All, yeah. So I understand it's all the whole. Man. But I, there's this thing that I guess when you watch certain shows, they say that they can pick out who is gay and who isn't. Right. Not you know true. What I'm um, Not I, true. I, I, um, that heard. I heard that. They, they had. Heard. They have the ability. You know, they from watching the guy to say if he is. No, or if he isn't. not true. Women stop they lying. They themselves. No, not women. The guys. I heard themselves. that too. Oh, they got the gay yeah. guys. The gay oh, guy yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think so. I think okay. Yeah. The gay guy can tell if you are. I heard that too, but but I don't know. I don't know. Don't pick me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. No, that's a good question because I was wondering, man, if we get hit with something like that amongst our friends. Yeah, that's, you know? man, I, I don't know. I, I never. That's so, man. I don't know. No, I still, I still. I, you know, you don't know, Steve. Yeah. I mean, yeah, don't, don't unless you're presented with a situation, you yeah, know, man, I really don't know. Right it's, it's man, it'll really hurt me, especially somebody I'm real close to. Like, man, damn, I just can't. And then, and then you can't like say you are trying to stay away from all the the, the, part of the crowd. Then it's like, yeah. but then it's saying you don't want to be together either. Yeah. You watching the game, like yeah. you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm going to bed, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, all right. Yeah, it's kind of a message you have, man. Um, Horace, I'm tired.